As you might be aware, Disneyland is known for intricate details around every corner, something everywhere. They don't leave anything untouched. And one of the best examples of that, in my opinion, is the trash cans. They even put so much detail, little touches, different trash cans for every land in the park. So today, here in the park, I'm gonna be giving a review of just about every single one I can find. Maybe not all of them, I might miss one or two. Yell at me in the comments if I do. But we're starting right here on Main Street, waiting for rope drop. Trash. There it is, nice little ornate design. This guy, I say, gets a, uh, it's a solid start. Maybe a uh, six out of 10. I'm, I'm gonna shoot low for a start and say seven, seven out of 10 right there. I'm gonna be vlogging next to trash cans all day. I already got some weird glances from cast members. So, eh. Here we are, the Fantasyland, at least the Matterhorn trash I don't know if there's more in Fantasyland. Let's see, we got a little flower going here. There's a, a hidden Mickey on the recycle, so that's pretty good. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm tempted to say seven again though, because I feel like it's only gonna, the hidden Mickey will, will go give it an eight because of that guy. Hi, it's me, Bram, you know, uh, from the video you're watching. And I know we're just getting started, but I had to pop in. I'm editing this about three weeks later, and, and this guy, he's so stupid. He gave this trash can an eight. I know, you're about to write in the comments, are you kidding me? This hidden Mickey here, yeah, it's on like 60% of the trash cans in the entire park. It's not hidden at all. It's ugly. It's a bad trash can. So here I am today to tell you it's not an eight. It's a three. Th Let's get back to it. Okay, more trash can vlogging. Tomorrowland. Okay. The trash can and the recycle bin are pretty much the exact same. But I really, I like the blue, the light blue. It's a good aesthetic. And the T is like Tomorrowland has a logo. So you know you're in Tomorrowland. I kind of like these ones. They're, they're a little really simple and they're trash cans. So I, I don't really love them because they're trash cans. Um, but I'm gonna give another eight out of 10 for Tomorrowland, I think. You can tell it's not actually an eight, he said. It's actually more of a, a four or a five or maybe, maybe a See, six. See, Bella's not too fond of the Tomorrowland trash can. Here's the Alien Pizza Planet logo. I think it's a very cool logo. Plain trash can, I don't know, six? Adventureland trash cans. It's got that same logo again, so I guess it's not really a hidden Mickey, but I love that feel of adventure. That's like a Africa looking eight out of 10, just because I like it. You know what? That's an eight. Waste, please. This one here looking like a shipping crate. It's got texture like a shipping crate. I know it just says trash. I really like it. This is an eight. I like this. What do you think? You like this one? Eight or nine? You know what? The other one's pretty high. This has to be nine, because I like it more than the outside one, which I said eight. Trash can here. It's a nine. It's like a jungle shipping crate. Come on now. Here I am in a, a crowded public space to review a, a trash can. This is New Orleans Square. It's got the spooky Haunted Mansion font. It's not very New Orleans festive though. I kind of want it to have, got the hidden Mickey again. I want it to have like Mardi Gras stuff. I'm gonna, this one's a five. I don't, I don't like it very much. Five. Critter Country's got wood looking. Looks like wood spelling here. I don't know what Jimmy and Cricket's doing here. He's on all the recycles randomly. I like the wood pattern, but something about it's a little generic. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a seven. Solid seven for Critter Country, because Critter Country isn't really a, even a theme to begin with. People love to watch me vlog trash cans. It's amazing. Here's the actual Haunted Mansion one. More Haunted Mansion font. Darker color. But this crest, the more I see it, the less I like it. I didn't realize it was on everything. So many people are watching me vlog trash cans. It's just, it's spectacular. This one, same as the other one. What'd I say, five, six? Yeah, it's the same. This 
Frontierland cans. Frontierland has the same cans as Critter Country. So I changed my mind. These wood ones are actually a zero. They lose. Lose. Loser. Found another. This is the small world. Oh, here comes someone trying to throw something away while I'm vlogging the trash can here. Anyways, small world trash can. I love that. I think that's the 10. I think that's my favorite one so far. Beautiful, beautiful little can there. Just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, here's Toontown. The Mickey gloves are kind of cute and I do like to keep it clean with the broomstick. Ultimately though, they're fine. That's a, that's a seven. It's a seven, not, not, not the best. There's also a blue variant, worth noting, worth noting. Uh, definitely still a seven though. I actually like the green one a little better. Galaxy's Edge trash can review. It's got the rim. They look old and rusted even though they're brand new. Out of all the things to be looking at in this brand new land, here I am looking at trash cans. I give this one a nine. It's good. Good stuff, nine. It's been a long day, I'm very tired. We're headed back, here's our car. We're in the Mickey and Friends parking lot. Here's just some random trash can with a rainbow. I guess it's pretty fun. I like I like the colors, it's a little dirty. Um, another seven out of 10, I feel like that's about the average score going on here. Waste, please. Hi, it's Bram again from the video. Uh, and in hindsight, I gave a lot of trash cans a seven that probably didn't deserve it. The Toontown was more like maybe a four, Maybe a three is actually sucked a lot. Uh, and this one I actually kind of like. The rainbow guy, maybe it should have been like an eight. I don't know. I've been editing this trash can video way too long though, and I'm not going to go fix it. So it is what it is. But I promise there's a lot less sevens in day two. I headed over to California Adventure to get on the ground and vlog some more trash cans. So here you go. Well, good morning. We're in California Adventure, still on the ground in front of trash cans, of course. But I miss the street. Kind of nice. I like the blue, the teal, the font, but it does kind of just remind me of New Orleans. Uh, no, not New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans Square in a way. Just kind of a font. But I like the little ornation. It's got to be another. I like the color, the blue. So I'm going to give it another seven. Hey, Vsauce Bram again. I guess I lie. I don't know. I just like the number seven. Do I need to defend myself? This trash can's a seven, okay? Just get over it. You're going to need to get over it, okay? Just get over it. Here in Starbucks on Buena Vista Street, found another little. I feel like I missed a lot of little restaurant special ones yesterday. That's okay. This one, F, F and P. I don't know what it is. It's a little logo. It's cute. I know it's standard. We just gotta go another seven because I got. It's one of the liquid ones, but you know, normal one over there. And you know what? Six because whatever. F F and P doesn't even look that great. Six for that one. This here is a trash can. We're right in front of Toy Story. Always being watched. This is the best day of my life. Um, light blue clouds, blue lining, no words. I give this one a, a 10. This is actually my favorite one so far on this trip. Pixar Pier, right by Incredible Coaster. Has the PP logo. I think it's nice, but I wish I had a circle around it in yellow, like the ball or something. And because of that reason, I like the colors. Another seven, it's gotta be. Everything's very average. In Credico, there's so many different trash cans on Pixar Pier. Like one every 10 feet is new. I can see three types of trash cans from right here, but in Credico, it's got the ride logo. It's red, I like it. The gray, it's clean, it's sleek, it's incredible. It's an eight. Paradise Gardens Park. Is that the name of this area? Where am I? What is this? I don't care. That's a five. This is for the winery and the Snorin Terrace, and it's right across from that other one I was just that two seconds ago. I don't like it. It's tan, it's got a stupid ugly leaf on it. That's a four. That's one of the worst ones so far. Radiator Springs has two. This is the better one, I think. The gray is kind of lame. But I like the lore of the 1909 establishing. Still not great. Uh, six. I don't like it very much. And the other Radiator Springs one? 
It's honestly even worse. It's just got the logo on brown. They could have done like something fifties looking. This one's even worse. This one's a five. I, Raiders Rings could have done a lot better. So, so disappointed in these trash cans. Hollywoodland. I thought it was called the Hollywood Backlot for some reason. Hollywoodland. It's kind of a fine logo. Maybe I'm just getting bored of this, but this is another six. It's like whatever. Tavon, outside of Guardians here. Woohoo! Tavon. I like that. I like the collector. I like his symbol. I think he's a funny guy. I like the aesthetic of the collection. Uh, that's an that's an eight. Yeah. Eight. I'm the I'm the trash can review guy. That's my new channel. Disneylander's gone. I'm now trash can review guy. Hey, here's a trash can I like. Grizzly Peak. Keep Grizzly Peak clean. I like the National Park aesthetic. I love Grizzly Peak. That's a, that's a, hmm. It's just brown. You know, but I like the, you know, the 50s looking font. That's a, that's a nine. Some more Grizzly Peak ones. Still nice. Not as good as the other ones, but I give the other ones a nine. These are more like a seven. Pretty good though. Outside of emotional whirlwind, another one on Pixar Pier we found. I really like that. I like the dots. I I want to give it another ten, but I don't know if it's as good as the clouds. So I'm gonna go with a nine. It's a good one. We're waiting here for Mickey's Philhar Magic, and I found another trash can I haven't seen. I wonder how many are hiding around that I'm just gonna completely miss. I'm doing the best I can here, guys. I know this is a very official, real, uh, highly esteemed list, but it's not perfect, and I'm sorry. But these are pretty cute. Feel her magic. They kind of look like they belong in Fantasyland. They're better than the Fantasyland ones were. Um, and for that reason, with the little stars up here, that's an, that's an eight. It's pretty nice. Monstropolis logo, classic logo, gray, blue, Nothing special. Seven, seven, it is. It is a six. Six, it is what it is. It is there. Pacific Wharf. Yeah, that is what it is. It is that, that's all I have to say. It is, it is what it is. It's the, the name. It's tan. It's blue. It's a six. It's a five. Okay, yeah, it's a, this whole area. You know what? It's a five. I appreciate the effort, Bram, but that, that, that's a that's a two. The final trash can is in the Esplanade here. Maybe I don't. Bell says there. I don't think I already did this one. It's Disneyland Resort. It's you white. It's pinkish. It's a it's a solid it's a solid six. And I'm done. I'm done with that now. I appreciate the effort, Brian, but that that that's a that's a two. Thanks for watching this uh, video of me vlogging trash cans in public. I had a blast. I hope you had a blast. What do you think? What's your favorite trash can? Tell me in the comments below, gamers and non-gamers alike. Unite in the comments below and give me your favorite trash can. Until then, I'll see you next week. That was your video for Disneyland of this week. Um, sorry. Okay, trash can review. Um, pretty good. Six.